things to read about Miguna Miguna. And last night, a, a flight, you know, a Lufthansa flight LH 590 from Berlin, Germany, landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, but one passenger was missing, and this passenger is none other than the controversial lawyer, camp politician Miguna Miguna. So. This is the second time, or rather even the third time, that the government is not honoring a court order that directed that the government should facilitate the return of Miguna Miguna from Canada to Kenya. So what is the way forward? Will Miguna Miguna continue fighting for his rights in terms of coming back home because he says he has dual citizenship? He's a Canadian and also at the same time a, a Kenyan. And a senior reporter, Rita Tinina, has been keenly following up on this developing story. She now joins us live from a city centre studio. Rita Tinina, good morning. What is the way forward for Miguna Miguna as we speak. Is the government likely to remove the red alert that was issued? A good morning to you, Brenda. Well, for Miguna Miguna, if everything had gone according to plan, he was to arrive in the country this morning aboard Air France. Remember, that was his second attempt. Earlier on yesterday, he was denied boarding uh, by Lufthansa. Only the difference is last night, Air France allowed him to board, but he says he was asked to disembark from his, his seat number 22A. It appears then Air France had not received the red alert by the time Miguna Miguna was checking in. But this morning, it appears he is busy on Twitter. He's saying he's unbowed. So, Brenda, uh, this is a war that perhaps Miguna Miguna is trying to fight, and he's going to fight uh, to the very end. Remember the first time when he was uh, arrested at his Runda home, he was taken to uh, court, he was charged, and then he was deported. While in Canada, on the ground here in Kenya, his lawyers filed a case in court, and that case, uh, the ruling was made, and the court ordered that he be allowed to come back to Kenya but the government is not uh, adhering to those court orders. So uh, maybe we'll wait and see whether this time he will still fi file another case uh, from Canada through his lawyers uh, here on the ground. But the question is, what is the government up to? Why can the government obey the court orders? In the Miguna Miguna saga, before uh, he was even deported, the government had failed uh, to obey five court orders, two of them uh, asking the government to produce him in court or have him released from custody. That is when he was arrested in February of 2018. He was held for five days. Uh, not many knew where he was. His lawyers went to court. The court ordered that he be released or uh, be produced in court. He was finally produced in court by the government. The then IG, uh, Joseph Boynet, uh, was among those people the court had ordered to appear in court and explain why uh, he was not producing Miguna Miguna in court. So this is not anything new. When you talk about the government failing to obey court orders, at least in this Miguna Miguna case, this is not something new. But also what is complicating issues here is that the fact that the president had spoken about it, saying that he has had uh, some people want to come back to, the Ken to Kenya, and they are free to do so. He said uh, they want to come and talk here and there, and they are free to do so. But considering the word by the president, the court orders, there is also the statement that, they came, f that came from the Directorate of Immigration saying that they will obey the court order. It, the statement said it was confirming that it will obey the court order and it will facilitate Miguna Miguna to come back to the country. Remember, he does not have a Kenyan passport. His passport was perforated after he was deported uh, in February 2018. He attempted to come back in March of the same year. He arrived at the JKIA. He was held there for about 70 hours, but he didn't, uh, he was not allowed to get out of the airport. He was held at the uh, JKIA. Uh, police cells, and later he was forced onto a plane and back uh, to Canada. So, Brenda, this is a controversy that will play out. During the day, we'll wait and see what happens. Miguna Miguna is still busy on Twitter, the last tweet about uh, four minutes ago, blaming Uhuru Kenyatta for all his wars, and we'll be waiting to see what step he will be taking uh, next. Brenda. All right, and Rita Tinina, I mean, you know, even the government spokesperson, Sarah Suguna, said that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was working on the red alert that was issued. So when we're talking about the red alert, kindly clarify for us, is it a new red alert that has been issued, or this is the same red alert that was issued in 2018 when Miguna was being deported to Canada? Well, I think it is a different led, a red alert, I beg your pardon. Remember, in 2018, when he tried to come back to Kenya uh, in March uh, of 2018, 
He came back, he landed at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. This time, the red alert is being issued uh, in the countries of origin. Uh, Lufthansa said he was not allowed to board, so he didn't even get on the uh, airplane. In the case of Air France, he had already boarded, meaning that the airline had not gotten any red alert by the time he was checking in. And so both airlines are saying that they are governed by international law not to allow, passenger, not to allow passengers to travel uh, when they are denied access uh, in the countries that they are seeking uh, to travel uh, to. But also the kind of information or how the government is responding. These are two international airlines. They have uh, through quest queries on Twitter and even uh, Lufthansa and Air France Air France replying to Miguna Miguna's tweets directly and clarifying that they got orders and that's why they cannot allow him to board. But the government yesterday not coming out clearly saying this is why we have changed our mind. This is why we are issuing the red alert this time, even after uh, giving a confirmation that we will allow him to travel. So the government is not coming out clearly. Why did it change his, its mind in uh, last few three days or so after it gave the confirmation that it will allow Miguna Miguna facilitate him to come to the country, perhaps even come in on a tourist visa. Miguna Miguna, some would say, is a bit problematic. When he was here in March 2018, he was meant to fill papers at the airport, perhaps coming through a tourist visa, but he said, no, I will not do that. I'm a Kenyan. I am, uh, have birth rights. I have constitutional rights. I need my passport. I need to get to the country. But the government said, tourist visa or go back to, uh, to Canada. And so Miguna Miguna perhaps will be waiting to see. The court has asked the government to facilitate me to get my passport back. If he's not given that passport, he has the option through the Canadian passport to come as a, 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 on a tourist visa, but perhaps he will not agree to do that and will just insist that the government obeys the court orders and allows him to come into the country and gives him a Kenyan passport. Brenda. All right, thank you so much. A senior reporter, Rita Tinina, giving us an in-depth explanation of what he's transpiring when it comes to that uh, controversial story about Miguna Miguna. So um, he was expected to arrive at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport last night, and that did not happen. What is the way forward? Let's have a look at a story that was filed by my colleague Rita Tinina on Monday night, on Tuesday night, rather. Court ruling compelling the government to facilitate the entry of Miguna Miguna into the country. A confirmation by the Directorate of Immigration Services that the orders will be complied with and a green light from President Uhuru Kenyatta. Atanaskia wengine wanatoka wanataka sasa kupanda ndege waruli waanze kusepo. Wahendili! Hiyo ndiyo Uhuru yao. The return of one of the government's harsh critics to the country was all set in what Miguna Miguna termed on Twitter as his homecoming, a birth, and constitutional right. The controversial lawyer was ready to board Lufthansa flight LH590 for an eight-hour, five-minute flight from Frankfurt, Germany to Nairobi. But despite the assurance from the Kenyan government on the ground in Germany, things were different. Lufthansa Air refused to allow the self-proclaimed general of the National Resistance Movement to board the flight following a red alert issued by the Kenyan government. Following the development, Miguna Miguna turned to Twitter. The office of the president issued a red alert to Lufthansa last evening, threatening to deny landing rights to the airline if it carried me to Kenya or any other African country, said Miguna Miguna. In response to a query on Twitter, Lufthansa said the Kenyan authorities require airlines to send passenger data to them in advance before every flight departs to Kenya. In the case of this passenger, they requested that Lufthansa deny boarding. Despite the assurance by the government, it turns out it was just a hoax and the government was hiding some cards that ensured Miguna did not set foot in Kenya on the 7th of January 2020. It is the second time the government is denying Miguna entry into the country. Only this time, he had not boarded a flight. On the 26th of March 2018, Miguna, who was traveling on a Canadian passport, arrived at the JKIA and was denied entry into the country. He was held at the JKIA for over 70 hours before he was deported from the country for the second time. I don't, I'm not going. I'm not going. Where my luggage? Where is my passport? Uh, I'm not going anywhere. 
The first time he was deported was on the 6th of February 2018 after being arrested, spending five days in police custody and being arraigned in court over his role in the then NASA leader Raila Odinga swearing in as what NASA called the people's president. His Kenyan passport was perforated following his deportation. The next flight from Frankfurt, Germany to Nairobi is scheduled for Thursday. Will the government obey the law? Will President Uhuru Kenyatta keep his word and allow Miguna back into the country? Or is the government determined to keep one of its fiercest critics away from Kenyan soil? Put that down! 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 Put that down!